Sustainable Civilization Design and Implementation. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 117. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 117, June 7, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering our team's progress and accomplishments for the last week with pictures and video. If you like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, Designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner-teacher collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer and Satellite members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the second 25% of the content for the communication lesson plan to the website. This means that this lesson plan, which teaches all subjects to all learning levels using the central theme of communication, is now 50% complete on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the first part of our lesson plan with the central theme of freedom, which now brings that to 25% complete. We also finished the next 25% of the image creation for the communication lesson plan mind map, which you can see here. This brings the mind map to 50% complete. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food finished the final social media imagery and featured our open source potatoes hub. We also featured and added two additional recipes to the open source peppers hub, which you can see here. More recipes from our food self-sufficiency transition plan that feature peppers will be added here in the future. Last but not least, we added three new recipes from Sandra Solani, vegan chef and author of What's Your QB? We add these recipes to the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan, and the recipes are coconut pecan and apricot granola, beet and asparagus salad, and creamy asparagus soup. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week the core team working on highest good housing updated over 40 more images for final instructions of the custom furniture assembly for the Earthbag Village and the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. We also create an additional 24 page bed materials list document. This completed the final 70% of image review and image updates for these instructions. We also added the second 50% of our research to the waterproofing strategy page for the earth dome structures. We estimate this brings the page to 75% complete. Additional graphics and links are next. And we moved another 20% of the earth dome loft structural engineering calculations to the website. 
This open source work was completed by Antonio Zambianco, civil engineering student, and is now 80% complete on the site. George Antonio Ricardo, mechanical engineering student, finished the 3D printing needs for a 3-dome cluster, and we're now waiting on a quote to print an 8-inch by 8-inch version of this structure, showing how it can be built as one dome, as three domes, with or without a kitchen and bathroom dome, or as an ADA-compliant structure with wheelchair access. Song Dong, Masters in Mechanical Engineering, also created this first round of reciprocating roof designs for the vermiculture bathroom and communal shower domes. Sayonara Batista de Oliveira, fourth year architecture and urban planning student, also completed a week of researching the benefits and challenges of shipping container construction. You can see the details of Sayonara's work here, added by the core team to the new Shipping Container Village Pod 5 page. Nellie Leventhal, graphic designer and college professor, also created this more detailed drawing of the music-inspired communal living structure for the Cobb Village. And last but not least, Renata Maihara, civil engineering student, then developed the Cobb Village Pod 3 progressions you see here, building off of Nellie and Sayonara's work. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, Mike Balbino, architecture and urban design student, completed the first outline of Duplicable City Center time projection spreadsheet. Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, also created the next steps you see here for developing the control systems designs. We'd say we're done with about the first 30% of the research and organization process for these control systems. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team, working in coordination with Jin Hua, internet marketing expert and web developer, began the massive process of updating our entire website to be mobile friendly. This included updating our theme, fixing all our homepage images and videos, and fixing all our primary menus. We'd say we're now about 20% done with this complete website overhaul. Behind the scenes, Binru Chen, accountant specializing in audit and financial reporting, has continued to update the for-profit and non-profit income and balance statement details that will soon be part of the tax considerations and strategy page. This work is part of the highest good economics component of building teacher demonstration hubs, and we'd say this work is now about 50% complete behind the scenes and 20% complete on the site. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One community is about sustainable civilization design and implementation. To accomplish this goal, we're taking the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and we are combining them with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are education, highest good economics, fulfilled living models, and true earth stewardship. We're taking these two foundations and we're putting them together as a complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub. Purpose to be built anywhere in the world to teach others how to build sustainable teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs as well. Our idea is that if we can make teacher demonstration hubs easy enough, affordable enough, and if we can demonstrate the experience of combining physical sustainability with emotional sustainability as a way of living that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. We know that if we can design that, if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, that combining these two things together can be seen as most people to be a better way of living, then the idea will spread on its own creating solution models that help to create additional solution-creating models in the form of additional teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs. And so through doing this, sustainable civilization design and implementation can spread across the world, and we believe in our lifetime, touch the lives of every single person living creature on this planet. Now to make this possible, to make this available to everybody, to address this 
issue in such a way that it can be modified and adapted to the diverse interests, needs, desires of humanity. Everything that we do is open source. We're open source and free sharing all the blueprints, plans, tutorials, everything that is that we're creating so it can be modified, adapted, and designed or redesigned in the way that works best for others too. And so our idea is to create the teacher demonstration community village city or hub, to create a living example that people can come and visit, and we're giving away everything that we've been designing now for years and that we will continue to design indefinitely as a foundation, as an open source and free shared foundation for others to implement highest good aspects of living into their lives as well. So everything that we're creating can be implemented as either the complete teacher demonstration community village city or hub, or it can be implemented as individual components. So that people can take the pieces that they want and apply them the way that they want and leave the rest. Or they can take the whole model and design it and develop it in a different direction. Or take just a piece of the model and design it and develop it in a different direction. In so doing, sustainable civilization design and implementation doesn't have to be implemented as a complete teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub, but it can be. Or it could be implemented as individual components. The point is that humanity is moving forward. We're bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, people that want to do the right thing for humanity and all life on this planet, and we're developing tools, tutorials, resources, open source blueprints, and do-it-yourself instructions to make that possible. Ultimately, as the teacher demonstration hub, there's a solution model designed to help create additional solution-creating models. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds interesting to you, sounds exciting to you, or like a noble adventure and venture, we invite you to get involved. There's lots of ways to participate, ranging from the pioneer team that will move onto the property and help build everything that is one community, to partners and consultants that are helping behind the scenes, donating their time and valuable expertise to help develop and design and continue to move everything forward to satellite members, which are the people that are, join our team that would be interested in being a part of the core team, but are not intending to move onto the property. And of course, the easiest way to participate, which is a huge help, is of course just sharing our information on social media. To make this easy, we are on all of the social media networks. We are on Pinterest, we are on Twitter, we are on LinkedIn, we are on Sue, we are on Reddit, we are on Tumblr, we are on... We are on about 10 or 15 other social media networks that I can't remember right now, but we are on all of the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to get this information into their hands and into the hands of others that they think might be interested because we know that if enough people participate, the tipping point that's necessary to build the bridge between pragmatism to idealism that we are all about this idea of sustainable civilization design and implementation can happen within our lifetime if enough people participate. And so we're here to make that participation happen by making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating it's attractive enough, by creating a place that people can come and visit where tens of thousands and eventually hundreds of thousands of people can come and experience it. And if they like what they see, take the components and go and duplicate it somewhere else. And the number one question that we get, other than where is the location, is what is the number one thing that one community needs right now to keep us moving forward or to accelerate our creative process? And that is to help us get the property off the market, which will allow us to disclose the location. We can't disclose the location because the property that we've been working with now for over four and a half years is still in the market. And we've designed our entire project around this location which is specifically purposed to be easy to share, to allow people to come and visit easily because it's in the United States, it's in a wonderful location, it has the necessary beauty and design and layout and property attributes so that people want to visit before we build the first village. So people want to help participate as we build the first village, as we build Duple City Center, and as we build all of these success, successive village models as well. But the property is still in the market. So if you or somebody you know has the resources that would like to either invest in one community or like to donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization, we would like to talk to you. None of the members of one community or our consultants or partners are paid. All of us are volunteers. All of us are unpaid nonprofit volunteers doing this because we either want to live at one community and help create it or because we just know that a better world is possible, want to participate in that. 
or because people want to be a part of something that we're creating. We're building a legacy. If you'd like to participate financially, there's lots of ways to do that as well. Donating to our 501c3 nonprofit organization, or of course, we're looking for that large scale donor. And, and we like to say thank you always every time we do one of these weekly updates to the people that are making the $5 donations, the $10 donations, the $25 donations. They help immensely in covering our operational costs and making it so that our members don't have to pay out of pocket to keep running one community. So we can continue to just donate and volunteer our time to all the developmental process to keep this whole organization running and continuing to evolve and grow and create more and more tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints for the sustainable civilization design and implementation that we are purpose and for purpose to create and are forwarding right now. Because we believe that a world that works for everybody is possible. And so this is our shout out, our call out, and our thank you to everybody else who believes that's possible too. If you like uh, more information, more details, more specifics, as always, you can visit our written blog. And if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. I like to say at the end of each one of these updates, of course, we will. Until next week, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.